yesterday was a significant unexpected day at the work in term one in regards to the small scale fishery initiative. Uh, Izwan Spawn is ready to rare more fish, uh, such as Mazakis, which is going to be completed this week. And uh, most of the time, Nick would just buy this fish fries for them. But this round, he asked, uh, he said to me, hey, let's bring uh, Izwan and Masaki to experience the, the hatchery and uh, so that in future, they know where to get the fish fries too. I said, okay, you know, let's, let's do it, you know. So we brought them uh, along and we purchased different kinds of uh, fish fries from the, for, for their ponds. Uh, the gift talapias and uh, patins. We wanted to try patins, patin mas and this patin boa. And the owner was very kind to share his knowledge with us on the different kinds of uh, crossbreeds. The unexpected part is towards the end. So while I was chatting with the owner, his daughter or daughter-in-law started to whisper to the father some Cantonese words, which I don't understand. Then later whispered to Nick. So I thought they asking me to stop talking. Maybe I was like talking too much, you know. Or oh, why is this Chinese guy? Uh? Why is he talking Malay? You know? But uh, I asked Nick, so what, what did they say or did they ask? They, and uh, Nick told me they wanted to offer a job to Izuan. They were offering a good pay that comes with on-the-job training about fishery. And the owner is so generous in sharing his 40 years uh, of knowledge. To understand the, the situation, uh, Izuan was looking for a job for months and was promised to do some landscaping work in November, but it did not happen. So the backstory of this is last week where Nick already felt strongly there was a purpose of bringing them to this fish place. And the night before going to the hatchery, God impressed Nick on the job opportunity waiting for his one. God knew and established everything perfectly. Never in our thoughts about asking work for his one in the fish, in the fish hatchery, God was working in our midst. Proverbs 16.9 The heart of man plans his ways. But the Lord establishes his steps. We plan to go to the hatchery to get fish fries. But God had a greater plan. There was a job offer. And we pray that Israel will see the doors already unlocked for him to take home. And uh, as we head back, you know, we had our lunch. We bersantai and relax under the pondo, you know. Uh, Nick and I were sharing about the hand and the goodness of God. And we are to be faithful and to recognize the blessings and the opportunity opportunities God has laid before us. And uh, Mazaki uh, prayed a very heartfelt prayer on top of giving thanks to the food. Our hearts are so full to see the goodness the favor and love of God in all this. Seeing the fingerprints of God everywhere. God working in our lives, through our lives, as we come before Him in faith and trust. His thoughts and His ways are definitely higher than ours. So my encouragement for you today, your life also can impact others to Christ by listening, obeying, and going. So church, let us grow deeper in love with Jesus and go wider in loving people. God bless you.